Hi everybody, I'm Julie. I'm an indie filmmaker and this video I'm just going to talk about one of my favorite actors, Wilson Cruz. So if you're a fan of Wilson Cruz, you're going to love this video. <laughs> Stay tuned. Okay, hi, I'm Julie. I'm an indie filmmaker. You can learn more about me below as far as my website. So, okay, I had a roommate a year or two ago and I was just talking about one of my favorite actors, Wilson Cruz, and, he, and she was like, hey, you should make a video about that. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I want to talk about why I like, uh, I love Wilson Cruz so much. Okay. Oh, right. So here's the visual. I love Wilson Cruz. Okay. Wilson Cruz was on a show called My So Called Life. So I was born in the 80s, grew up in the 90s. I happened to be gay. And um, so he played a character, a character called Ricky Vasquez. I ended up buying My So Called Life on, uh, on Amazon Prime because I just really wanted to watch the show. And Ricky, for me, Ricky Vasquez was the first gay character I ever saw on TV. And uh, I'm younger than him. I think I was around 6th or 7th grade when that show came out. But seeing Ricky Vasquez, a queer character, a gay character, made me feel less alone. And that Ricky Vasquez is like such a good person if you watch the show he's a really good fan friend yeah he's a really good friend to his to rayanne his best friend who she she's a good person she's just a little wild and has substance issues but he's a really good friend to her he's a really good friend to um angela the lead character and so my soka life is a show about a teenage girl and what it's like to be a teenage girl. And one of her best friends is Ricky Vasquez, played by Wilson Cruz. And Wilson Cruz, his acting is phenomenal in the show. You see like his journey. Um, he eventually comes out as gay. Um, there's just a lot of great moments in the show. And it, what I like about the show is for me, it's an accurate depiction of what it was like to be gay in the 90s because it also shows like kind of sort of kind of like forced celibacy or whatever but basically like according to the show at least the first season like Ricky who's a really good person really sweet guy as far as what they show in the show like Ricky has no one to date <laughs> so they don't really they do a good job of showing you know the trickiness of like there's an episode about a school dance and uh, Ricky he can't just ask someone out to go to the dance because who would he ask out like there's no one out at his high school who's gay so it's like it goes into that you know um and just like in the first season like who's he gonna date <laughs> like according to the show like there there are no other gay guys at the high school so it shows the loneliness of that and uh, yeah because uh i was i wasn't out to myself yet but i was it's yeah i was gay basically in high school but I didn't know any other gay people at my high school. There was one woman at my high school. She was bisexual. She was very punk rock. And she had a sticker. She had a bunch of stickers on her car. And she had a sticker on her car that said, I let cool chicks do me. <laughs> and um, she, she had a punk rock vibe. And like all the nerds and like, I, you know that show Freaks and Geeks. So basically all the freaks and the geeks basically. Uh, kind of had a thing for her. I had a little crush on her too because I was like I remember seeing that sticker and it completely blew my mind. I was like dang she's like Putting it out there. I was like whoa because I was closeted um, anyway, so uh, But I think Ricky Vasquez really does it the show my Soka life it, it was made in the 90s it does a good job of showing what it's like to be To be gay in the 90s. So I was like that's kind of what it was like the show takes place in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I actually grew up in small town Virginia, but yeah, the other thing the show so shows is Ricky Vasquez is very pure of heart. He's just sweet. And so there's one episode, it's like the Christmas episode, the holiday episode, and it showed Ricky, who's just a good person. So he goes to church and writes, lights a candle on Christmas Eve. And, and he prays. And I was like, it was, and, and that in the show, there's an angel in the show, and I know, but literally like a, an angel, <laughs> but there, but it shows this angel looking out for Ricky, looking out for this teenage gay guy, and it's done, to me, it's done really well, and so Ricky Vasquez is the first time, I grew up Baptist, this is the first time I saw 
a gay kid praying in a church in a way, like sincerely. And um, I really like that. But also I'm super supportive of all religions, spirituality, atheism, like it's all good. Like, you know, I'm supportive of all that. It's just since I grew up Baptist, like seeing that on TV was such a big deal. So yeah, they did a good job of showing like Ricky Vasquez was just such a good person. And so he really was like, he was just always there for his friends and, and he was stylish. So he was very stylish. So I think the way they depicted it, they did a really good job. And I wanted to talk about, um, I wrote down, yeah. I wrote down some of the movie, some of the stuff Wilson Cruz has been in. I know he's in Star Trek Discovery. Right now I'm watching the Star Trek car cartoon, the original series from like the 70s or something. So I'm working my way up to Discovery. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'm excited about seeing Wilson in that. He was in a movie called Coffee Date. He's in a show called Noah's Ark. Another movie he was in called All Over Me, made in 1997. I watched that movie and the actress who played Alice, on the L word. Oh gosh, I should know her name because she is legendary. Leisha, oh, I'm such an asshole. Okay, but I'll put it right here because she's amazing. Leisha Daly, okay. But Alice on the L word, I love Alice on the L word. So I just want to make that clear. But but she's in uh, the movie All Over Me. So it's Wilson Cruz and her. And it's a great movie about Wilson, Wilson Cruz plays a gay guy. There's a lesbian character in the show or bisexual, but it's just, a, I remember that movie and I watched it in the 90s when I was a teenager, a gay teenager, and it was a really good movie. And then My So-Called Life, so Wilson Cruz is just really great. The other thing I like about uh, Wilson Cruz, okay, I know I'm about to say something controversial, okay. There's a stereotype that some gay guys are bitchy, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> but not, not all gay guys, but some gay guys can be kind of bitchy. I saw a TikTok where it's like, there's gay guys who are proud to be bitchy or whatever, but Wilson Cruz is not bitchy. I don't know what happened, but like, he he doesn't have the bitchy gene. <laughs> like, Wilson Cruz, I've seen interviews with him. He's sweet and humble and kind and extremely talented. Extremely talented. So, I don't know, he's not bitchy. <laughs> uh, and I find that to be refreshing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But no shade, no shade. Okay. And so finally, the last thing I wanna say about Wilson Cruz is, um, I went to SF Pride a while ago, San Francisco Pride, I live in the Bay Area, and um, I forget what year it was, but there was a Pride where uh, San uh, Wilson Cruz was the Grand Marshal, and I saw Wilson, so the, I would have been in my late 20s, early 30s, right, I'm 41 now, so... So Wilson Cruz is one of the Grand Marshals. He's in, I'm in, I'm watching the parade and he's in the car. It's like a convertible. So he's, you know, where you can, you can, he's sitting where you can see him. And he's not wearing a shirt because it's pride. And he's been working out. I was like, he's in good shape. So, but he comes by and he's waving at everyone. And he just seems like such a good person. And I started crying. I surprised myself. I started crying because... He meant so much to me. Well, uh, Ricky Vasquez on My So-Called Life meant so much to me as a kid. Like, really, he's one of the people who saved my life, you know? I felt s Ricky Vasquez made me feel s s so not alone. And so I was surprised that I cried when I saw Wilson Cruz, but I cried because he just seems like such a good person. And also, he's been working out. <laughs> he wasn't wearing a shirt. So, um, yeah, and the last thing I want to say is I am an indie filmmaker, so I'm, wor I'm working really hard to make it as a filmmaker. So I have some really great movie ideas for Wilson Cruz. And so I hear, uh, mark my words, Internet, I want to turn Wilson Cruz into a bona fide old school movie star because I think the talent is there. I think he's handsome. So, and he saved my life. Also, I'm totally gay and I'm going to, uh, when I meet the right woman, or maybe I've already met her, but um, I want to marry a woman. <laughs> just want to put that out there but and I'm currently single but I um yeah I, I want Wilson Cruz deserves to be like a legit movie star so that's what I'm gonna try to do with my writing and directing so oh look, by the way Wilson Cruz has had a very his resume is very impressive like if you go on IMDb he's been on so much stuff so one time I got I, I, I had a little too much to drink I got a little drunk and I have a movie movie idea for Wilson Cruz so I was at a bar in Oakland 
and I was talking to the, this whole table, and I was like, hey, I don't know, we were talking about movies and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, hey, do you guys know Wilson Cruz? is is like, yeah, he's great. And I was like, and I, to the table, I pitched my movie idea that I have starring Wilson Cruz. And then everyone at the table is like, that movie sounds awesome. You should do that. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I will. I, I'm going to do that. So uh, that was my uh, market research. <laughs> <laughs> I drank too much, pitched my movie idea to a, a table of people at a bar starring Wilson Cruz, but they they liked the idea and they were like, you should totally do that. So mark my words, internet. I want, I want, I want Wilson Cruz to be a movie star. He deserves to be a movie star. So yeah. All right. I'm a huge fan of Wilson Cruz. I highly recommend my so-called life. I, it's very 1990s. There's actually a really funny Saturday Night Live sketch. Saturday Night Live sketch that kind of makes fun of it, but that was the show in the 90s if you're a kid, so. Okay, so one of these shows in the 90s. So yeah, anyway, I'm a huge fan of Wilson Cruz. I think he's great. Um, this is, uh, yeah, here's my little thing that I made for him. So yeah, for anyone out there who's also a fan of Wilson Cruz, uh, let's be friends. <laughs> and stay tuned, I have movie ideas. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being a fan of Wilson Cruz and my so-called life and all of the things. It's fun to be a fan of things. It's fun to like things, I think so. Yes, okay, hope y'all have a great night. I'll talk to you later, bye.